Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install this update that is KB5065426 on your Windows 11 computer. Now the first step is to pause and restart the update. So you can go to Windows update and then over here you can see pause update. So click on pause. And this may take some time. Now once paused, now hit resume updates and then you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start, start these services. Now for this type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find Windows update in the list. Scroll down over here. You can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted. And then click on OK. With this selected, make a right click. Then click on restart. Now find app readiness service. Here you can see app readiness. Make a double click. Set this to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With this selected again, click on restart. Now you can try to update. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to. Now after you start all these services, then you you can click on retry over here. So you might see any errors. If you see any error, just click on retry and then check. Still not working. Run this SFC and DISM command. Now for this type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app and make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Copy the first command. Paste it over here. Hit the enter key and this will run a scan. Let the scan complete. The scan may take some time and once this scan is 100% complete, Copy the second command, paste it on the same window and run this second command. And once the second scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here, write down the name of the update that is KB5065426 over here and then click on search. Now over here, uh, first of all, you have to check which version of Windows you have. So you can type in W I N V E R in Windows search box and then click on Winver. And over here, uh, in my case, uh, it's version 24H2. So version is 24H2 and you can check what kind of system you have. So you can go to uh, system and then you can go to about option over here. And then you will see in my case it's 64 bit operating system. So for me, it's a Windows 11 version 24H2 for x64 based system. Now, if you have uh, 25H2, like if you have Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 based system, then you can install this update. And for me, it's 24H2, uh, 24H2 x64. So click on download. And then you will see this KB5065426. Click on it. And then once the download is complete, you can click on this file and you can install this update manually. Just click on it once the download is complete and then follow the on screen instruction. And once that is done, restart your computer. And then you can check. Still not working. The last, uh, the next step is to use fix problems using Windows Update. Now for this, you can go to Windows Settings, go to Windows Update, and then Click on advanced option over here and then scroll down. Go to recovery option over here. You can see the option which says fix problems using Windows update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will freeze up. Now click on reinstall now. This process will take some time. And once this is complete, now you can check. 
still not working the last step is to use media creation tool now for this you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see uh, media creation tool click on download now and then you can run this exe file now once you run this exe file you will see this screen click on accept over here and then uh, by default windows 11 will be selected click on next and then select iso file over here and then click on next and then you can save it to desktop save and then let the download complete this process will take some time and once the download is complete now click on finish option now once you hit finish uh, let this close automatically and then you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then you will say setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next accept and then here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install after the installation log into the computer and then you can check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this update successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel